Hi, hello everyone, welcome to the channel and today I will show you how to perform a terrain analysis using Google Earth Engine. So let's get started. So to perform a terrain ana analysis in Google Earth Engine, first we have to insert our study area boundary, that is our country boundary layer into Earth Engine. So to insert our country boundary layer into Earth Engine, we have to define a variable called countries equals to double e dot feature collection USDOS, United States of Department of State large scale in large scale international boundary simple 2017 and we have to define our specific study area so in this case i have chosen my study area as canada so to define my study area i had defined a variable called roi that is our region of interest our region of interest is canada that is our study area so i defined a variable called roi equals to countries dot filter double a dot filter dot eq country na so output the layer name as Canada. So our country boundary layer is Canada. So next we have to import uh, our SRTM dem into Earth Engine. So to import our SRTM dem, we have to define a variable called SRTM. So now let me show you the details of SRTM dem. So this is our SRTM dem that is digital elevation model. So in order to enter, import our uh, SRTM dem into Earth Engine, we have to insert the specific script into our Earth Engine which will import our SRTM dem into Earth Engine. The provider is of NASA and data availability is from 2000. And the uh, description, it is a shuttle radar topography mission. It is a 30 meter resolution and is high quality elevation data at near global scope. And this version of SRTM dem digital elevation data has been processed to fill all the data voids and facilitate an ease of use. So now let me get back to Earth Engine. So now to import our SRTM dem into Earth Engine, we have to define. So we have to define a variable called SRTM equals to w dot image USGS SRTM and one zero zero three. So this specific code will insert our SRTM dem into Earth Engine. So next to calculate our slope, we have to define a variable called slope equals to w dot terrain dot slope SRTM. So from our digital elevation model, we are specifically selecting our slope slope data from our uh, SRTM dem. So here the SRTM here refers to our source data that is our SRTM dem. So in that specifically we are selecting the slope. So this is our algorithm which uh, specifically selects the scope uh, slope for our uh, terrain analysis. So next we have to define our visualization parameter for our uh, SRTM dem. So to visualize our slope uh, slopeness that is our terrain analysis we have to define a variable called slope visualization which here refer, refers to visualization parameter so we are sitting with a minimum value of 0 and to a maximum value of 35 and the color palette uh, varying from green yellow and red here the green refers to the lowest slope value and red represents the highest uh, slope value and yellow represents the moderate slope value so last we have to add our layer into earth engine to add our layer into earth engine we have to define map.addLayer SRTM.clip ROI. So ROI we are referring to our this specific variable that is our study area. So we are choosing Canada. And with the minimum value of around 0 and to a maximum value of around 4000. And dim output the layer name as dim. So next we have to define and this specific uh, layer, this specific layer will add our SRTM dim into Earth Engine. So next to add our slope layer, slope raster into Earth Engine, we have defined this specific uh, code that is map dot add layer slope dot clip ROI, and the uh, slope which refers to our visualization parameter we have defined here. So this is a visualization parameter, and uh, output the layer name as slope. At last to center our uh, layer, we have defined map dot center object and ROI represents our study region. So this variable and with a specific zoom level of 4. So this specific layer will insert our SRTM dem into our earth engine and we are set with the minimum and maximum values. And this specific layer will in, uh, import our, our uh, slope raster layer into earth engine with we are set our visualization parameter. So that is defined here. So now let us run this code. So now let me reset it. So now let me run this code. Go to the option called run script and click run script.
So you can able to see we have two different layers. One is of slope raster layer. Another is our dim, that is a SRTM dim. So now let us view this. So this is our SRTM dim. That is our study area for Canada. This is our study area Canada. So uh, you can able to see that this is our raw digital elevation model. So this is our raw digital elevation. That is our SRTM uh, digital elevation model. So this represents our raw digital elevation model. So basically this is our uh, raw digital elevation uh, model which provides our, provides us uh, elevation data for the study area that is our Canada. So now to view the elevation data you can go to the option called inspector. So now we will get this plus uh, cursor. So now let us view the elevation data for this study area. So using this inspector tool, we can able to view our elevation data. So now let me, I have clicked inspector here. So now uh, let me click this area. So I've clicked here. So now let us view this uh, details about it. So we have our uh, dim, uh, dim layer, dim layer layer, which uh, shows our elevation data. So here the elevation is indicated that is around 1738. And the slope value here represented as 2.09. So using inspector tool, you can uh, select variety of areas and view the uh, digital elevator that is our elevation data as well as our slope data. So here you can uh, in this I have selected in this area in this area. So you can able to view the elevation data as around 526 uh, meters and the slope value is around 0 0.029. So that is uh, almost a flat terrain. Similarly, let me click this uh, this region. So now you can able to view the elevation as well as the slope value here. So now let us view our uh, slope layer. Let me uh, turn my dim layer off. Let me uh, let us view the slope layer. So this is our slope layer. So now let me zoom into this region. So you can clearly able to view this has a very uh, terrain. We have a terrainous region. So now let me zoom into this region. So now using this inspected tool, you can able to view this uh, slope as well as the elevation. Now let me uh, click this area. So now you can view this slope. So slope is around 32 and the elevation is around 3396. So you can view these details. And also you can, uh, you can also view the Latin, uh, latitude and longitude details here. So this is our latitude and uh, and this is our longitude and latitude and zoom level and also the scale. So we have our details like latitude and longitude and pixel uh, that is our dim elevation uh, data as well as our slope, slopeness of, the, uh, of this terrain. So now let me select this region. So now you can view the elevation has been changed and slope. So now let me select this uh, reddish spot. So now uh, let us view this elevation and slope. So which is clearly indicated uh, here. So the red here indicates a steep uh, slopey areas. That is a uh, high slope uh, areas. And the green indicates the low slope areas or the flat areas. So you can able to view here. The red indicates a very high slope uh, region that is steep region. So the, you can uh, view this data here. So the slope is around 44 and the elevation is around 2857. And similarly, let us view in the greener portion of this region. Now let me click this area. So the elevation is around 723 and slope is almost, it's a flat terrain. So slope is zero, which indicates it is a flat terrain. Let me click this here. So the slope is indicated here and the elevation data. Now let me show you this. Uh, this is a valley region. This is a valley and this is a hilly region. So here the elevation is around uh, is around 800, 800 and the slope is around 5. And let me click this here. So it is a valley. Red indicates it is a uh, hilly region and green indicates it's a valley. Now I have clicked in the red portion. So let us view this. Uh, the slope is around 27 and the elevation is around 1630. So now uh, in this video I have shown you how to perform a terrain analysis using Earth Engine and uh, 
using our SRTM dem data. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and give us a like.